time now on Pigskin Preview to visit with the head coach of the East Texas Babs University Tigers, Mark Sartain. Last Saturday afternoon in Clinton, Mississippi, the Tigers defeated Mississippi College 28-20. to Fifth straight win for the Tigers at Robinson Hall Stadium. And, and Coach, why do sometimes that teams can perform very well at certain venues? Is, is that just a, a phenomenon or just something that just happens? Which is what I just said. <laughs> a phenomenon is something that just happens, yeah. I guess. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't know that there's any one thing you could you could pinpoint. Sometimes places have a, a comfort level that others don't. Uh, you know, it's a day trip for us, which it's it's one of only one a year we get to take. Uh, maybe we travel better and play better when we just we don't have to sleep in somebody else's bed and eat somebody else's food. So, uh, I don't know. It's been good. We've we've won there the two times I've been there, and uh, uh, you know, of course, they're good hosts. Uh, we just we played we played well when we've arrived there. Well, let's talk about that victory over Mississippi College. Uh, the game last Saturday, you win 28-20, you go 2-3 and three in conference play. It just seemed like everything clicked. Your, your offense, your defense, your special teams all had a very important part in winning that ball game. Well, it was, uh, you know, as generally wins are, they, they uh, incorporate a team effort. Uh, we did have contributions from all phases. Our defense played uh, an exceptional game uh, against an opponent that had has racked up some points against some – some uh, ranked opponents in the previous weeks and uh, uh, came up with some big turnovers. Our special teams uh, uh, actually scored uh, a touchdown. So that's that's always a plus and, and performed well uh, in other respects as well. Offensively, we we have uh, the big play strike capability with Sed and a couple of others. We, we're still working on a few areas in all those uh, three phases. Uh, we want to be more consistent on offense, not have to rely on the big play. Uh, we want to... Uh, continue the trend that we've set with uh, uh, the special teams, special forces as we call them. And then, of course, defensively it's a new challenge each week and, and, and the upcoming challenge is, is a totally different animal than the previous three we played. Let's talk about the upcoming challenge tomorrow afternoon in Arnell Stadium against uh, a nation-ranked team in the University of Mary Harden. Brother, they're undefeated. But, you know, you got a good confidence builder with things you put together at Mississippi College. How, how do you face a game like this when on paper – the Crusaders are the one favor to win. Well, uh, it's we've been there before. Uh, it's it's a, it's a game against a conference opponent, and it's one that we believe that if that we're capable of competing with, and of course, as uh, if we're going to be respected in this conference and in the in the national uh, on the national scene, we're going to have to win one of these, and, and this is as good a time as any. And uh, we feel feel confident about our ability. We got a good plan. Kids are practicing hard and have a great attitude about it, and. Uh, uh, we're going to play to win. Tigers play University of Mary Harden Baylor at 2 p.m. kickoff at Orlando Stadium. Last week they beat Southern Oregon in a non-conference game, 31 to 10. Tell me what 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 some things you got to stop against Mary Harden Baylor. I know their quarterback Ladarrell Bailey, pretty pretty good athlete. He kind of uh, be able to run the ball, and throw the ball. Oh, he's a great athlete. A lot like said Harris. Uh, they use a two quarterback uh, system similar to what we do. Uh, one young man's a better thrower. One run is a better runner. Uh, but the strength of their uh, of their football team is in their offensive and defensive lines. It's been that way ever since I've been here. Uh, as they go, so goes those skill guys, and uh, they're able to line up and do some things uh, uh, pretty consistently because of the quality. Uh, they're they're generally upperclassmen up front. Um, they do start, I think, uh, twelve or fourteen seniors. Um, that's how many we have on the team, but they start that many. So there's experience there. They've grown them up. They've matured them in the system. They believe they're they're going to be successful, uh, and they're they're physically uh, the best the best units in the conference uh, up front. You're listening to Pigskin Preview, and we're visiting with the head coach of the East Texas Baptist University Tigers about their game tomorrow against the Crusaders and Mary Harden Brother kickoff at Ornelas, as I said earlier, at 2 p.m. Let's talk about the two of your players, uh, and because of their performances last week in that winning at Mississippi College, were recognized by the American Southwest Conference as Players of the Week. Who are you going to talk about first? Well, uh, I assume you're, you're referring to Seth Harris and, and Evan Beaton. Uh, of course, neither one of those guys are strangers to the conference uh, honors. Uh, they both had incredible seasons at times, and you know, Sed came through again uh, last Saturday with some just exceptional athletic plays. Uh, took a, a couple of busts and, and made them touchdowns, and uh, just he just adds another dimension to the offense. He did so uh, having uh, had a, had a little stomach issue. He was suffering from some from a slight dehydration and. Uh, not enough nutrition, I think, for the day, and we had to 
pull him out and kind of recoup him there, but but he came on strong and, and, and did a great job for us in, clutch, in, the, in the clutch moments of the football game. And, uh, of course, Evan Beaton uh, had probably one of the most incredible days for a defensive lineman that, that you could possibly have. He had seven – Seven tackles, a tackle and a half for a loss, a sack and a half. He batted down three passes and he intercepted a screen. Uh, that's that's sometimes a career for a defensive lineman in those other aspects. Uh, and and Evan did most of that, believe it or not, uh, in the fourth quarter, which is even more uh, impressive that 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 he can he can amp his game up uh, in the late stages of the ball game when when things are on the line. All right. Final words about tomorrow's game against the Crusaders. It's one of those type of football games that, as a team, you want to knock off number one. Well, we want to win, and and, and we want respect. And, uh, you know, since realistically the, the opportunity for us to play extra ball games this year is, is pretty much by the wayside and uh, conference championship is out of the question, uh, our, our, our motto has been the last two weeks, if winning is an option, it's got to be our objective. And... And, and I think the kids took that on the field with them on, on Saturday against Mississippi College. And we're taking that same mentality onto the field with us this Saturday. Uh, you know, everybody talks about the biggest upset in ASC history and all that good stuff. You know, it's only an upset if you don't expect it. And so in our minds, it's not going to be an upset. Coach, best of the Tigers tomorrow against the Crusaders. Thanks a lot. This is Mike McGiff reporting for Pigskin Preview.